Hi guys, welcome back to Think Tank. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can draw a butterfly span. So as usual, let's start by drawing a horizontal, horizontal line, then mark the center. First, we have a circle, an inner circle of radius 7,5, radius 7,5, and this bolt just like this, so we have to outline it. Okay? Then also we have another circle of radius 13, 13,5. In the same sense, I have to draw about three arcs. The first arc, which is the big arc, is of radius 76. Of radius 76. Then the second arc is of radius 63. Radius 50. Okay, just like this. Okay, and well, given that we have 60 degrees. Of 60 degrees here. This is an angle of 60 degrees. Circular cave of radius five. Here, yeah. okay. Then I can join. Can join these two arcs. to make sure that your canvas is tight. Okay. Then we have cape of radius 30. Radius 13. This is the radius of 13 here. Just like this, and read just like this. Okay, then we can use our six square to elongate this line, this construction line. two caves from an arc. Okay. Just like this. Okay. 
then we have an arc that connects this this arc with this diagonal line and that arc has a radius of 13 so I open my canvas of 13 centimeters my sender is the point of the intersection of the arc and that diagonal max and two points then on the marked point I strike an arc then on the opposite marked point I strike another now and that intersection is the sender of those arcs I do the same on this side Without doubt, I can join this line and this line. Just like this. Okay, and I have to draw an arc that joins this line with this circle. Okay, so how do I do that? That arc has got a radius of 25. So I open my canvas at 25 and draw lines that are parallel to the diagonal on the same side. This way you can draw a parallel line. Construction line of these lines. And this line. Then what is the next thing I have to do? I have to add the radius of the arc plus the radius of this circle. That means I'm going to say 25 plus 13,5. 25 plus 13,5. And that is 38.5. 38.5. Using the center of the circle, I strike here. And using that same center, I strike here. Then open my canvas at the radius of 25. And use this as my. I can now draw a smooth curve. Also, do the same way. Then you can join this using a ruler. Then I have to open my canvas at an angle of 30 degrees on the upper part and 30 degrees on the bottom part. Okay? I also have to open my canvas at an angle of 15 degrees or just divide this angle by 2. So I'm going to use my protractor to open an angle of 15 degrees, okay? This one. And this. Okay, by doing that, I can join 
extending this line using a ruler. Again, this using a ruler. Yeah. Then now I can open a distance of 65 millimeters from the center of this circle. 65. Then I have an arc of radius 25. We join this line and this line. So I just open my canvas with a radius of 25. I extend the intersection of that diagonal line and that the degree line. Okay, then it has set it on. Okay, and this is the center. What is the next stage? I have to draw circles of radius 5. Two small circles of radius 5 at the intersection of this curve and the 15 degree line. Okay, here. careful and drawing circles as much as I could. Okay. And then using the same center, I have to draw a cave of radius 13. Then do the same on this side. Smooth cave here, applying it, and also do the same here, applying it. Okay, then the next thing is to draw a cave of radius 8. Draw a cave of radius 8. 